So most people at this point, frankly, have never seen Trey Lance play football. Everyone knows, right? We all heard the scouting reports and everything, and he's got Josh Allen's skill set, all the rest of that. But he's played very little football, and most people didn't see it when he did. David Pollock did. Remind everybody, David, what exactly is Trey Lance, and what is your expectation for him now as he steps in on this very good team? I think he's big, he's strong, he's athletic, he has a huge arm. Um, he's, he's a guy that played, obviously, at a, at a lower level of football, and you could tell he was a man amongst boys when he was in college. But I tell you what, th there was a lot of work he had to do as a passer. Um, he didn't get a ton of reps last year on the field. It's interesting to me to see Neek and, and Fowler pick um, – pick 49ers that means they think Trey Lance is going to step in and right away immediately have success and I get it the system is is great the system is set up for success but I think if he's going to step in immediately to have success his feet are going to have to do a lot of the damage because I think he's still developing as a passer he still misses his pocket field still needs work his, his accuracy still needs work listen he's still a talented kid and he's young and he's going to grow and he's going to develop I like personally think, having Jimmy G, I think, there to, to try to help him. I think Jimmy would be a good teammate. But I think to put Su Trey Lance in the, in the 49ers in the Super Bowl conversation, man, that's tough for me seeing it. I haven't yeah. seen this guy do that yet, be that guy yet. I think it's still going to take some time, and it's not going to be this year. How about it, Marcus? You, you were the one who didn't take it. What is your expectation for Lance as he steps in? I expect them to have some struggles, like every other quarterback playing their first year in the NFL. And I, to, to DP's point, like, we know Shanahan's system can insulate you. Hell, they threw the ball eight times and won the NFC championship. So we know how good the system is and what they can do. But ultimately, I think this league, and even within their division, and while I'm talking about San Francisco, the Rams, they had to figure out how to at least get the ball back enough times. Because what San Francisco does is they bludgeon you. They play a style of football where they're going to make you play physical for four quarters, and one, you can't practice that way, and the other one, you're not seeing teams like that week in and week out, so it's so difficult to defend. So you got to put points on the board, and that's why the Los Angeles Rams went out and got Matthew Stafford. But when I look at Trey Lance, I said it when we were talking about it at the draft, and it was the Mac Jones going to San Francisco. David hit the nail on the head. They wanted Trey Lance to add another element to their offense athletically from the quarterback position. Because now when you defend an 11 against Kyle Shanahan, you in a spin cycle, bro, trying to figure out how you going to game plan for that outside of the other side of the ball for you That's being elite. So I, 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 expect him, I expect them to have growing pains. And, look, he can say Jimmy came back with open arms. Look, man, I'm uncomfortable with this whole situation because we know if Trey Lance struggling, Jimmy G going to be put in the game, and San Francisco knows that as well. So I, I, I don't know about the open arms, and, and it, it's all good feeling. And, yeah, you you was taking third overall in this your team, but ultimately this team has been to, to the mountaintop even though they didn't get it done with the quarterback that's going to be your backup. You're not worried yeah. about that, Dominique. Why? I'm not. If he struggles a little bit, I don't think they're going to go to to um, Garoppolo that quickly. They traded a bunch to move up for a reason. And I think that while people believe the locker room is going to be like bring back Jimmy Garoppolo immediately, I imagine it goes the other way. I think based on those guys who were on the team last year and saw how Jimmy played in the playoffs, if they try to roll Jimmy out there, I feel like they're going to look at each other the way that that Greeny read that tweet. We going out there with Jimmy Garoppolo this week? <laughs> <laughs> no, let's let's go let's go with Trey Lance. Let's go with Trey Lance. He gives us a better chance. I swear, I swear, he do. <laughs> to Fowler, the final word, go. Is we? Is we? Is we? That's what I thought it said. I, 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 it's not oh, a word God, I've yes. ever read before. I, I, go. I had a league exec point this out that this offseason has shown that. The league looks at Jimmy Garoppolo a little differently than maybe the public does. Public yeah. sees him as this high-profile, mm, you know, maybe superstar quarterback. He's not that. The 49ers oh, no, are looking at all me. this as deferred mm -hmm. gratification. <laughs> that Lance is going to be maybe less efficient, but he's going to be more explosive. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.